Hello, and thank you for joining me for today's presentation, The Power of Hybrid API Development. My name's Brian May. I'm the Vice President of Product Management here at Profound Logic, as well as the product owner for our Profound API solution. I want to keep today's presentation short and focus on exactly what hybrid API development is and how it helps developers to deliver stable applications efficiently. But before we dive into hybrid API development, let's take a moment to discuss why IBM I shops are looking to introduce APIs into their applications. Many companies that I speak to about our solutions are looking for solutions to specific problems. One of the most common is they are looking to start replacing EDI transactions with API solutions. Now, completely replacing EDI with an API layer is a huge undertaking that's not going to happen overnight. However, many customers are finding that they can take smaller pieces of more critical information and make it available in real time via API instead of waiting for large EDI batches to process. Another common need is to eliminate data synchronization. Most customers have multiple systems that are doing different types of processing and a common solution to have those things work together is to actually duplicate data across systems, to take data from their IVMI and then transmit it in large batches over to some external system so that it can act on that same data. This is highly inefficient. It comes with increased storage costs and data latency. So a lot of customers are looking to eliminate synchronization like that with a real-time API solution. IBM I shops are also looking at API solutions when architecting their new development. It is extremely important to have a flexible API layer in new development so that you can implement multiple interfaces and never be locked into one interface for your application. And finally, all customers are becoming more and more security conscious. And many are looking to do away with things like direct database access from outside applications or FTP transfers from the outside and instead want to implement API interfaces. The reason they look to do this is because APIs can have different authentication methods that are not tied to system profiles. This allows these companies to give access to this data or these business rules without actually having to set up things like system profiles that could be abused by trying to gain access through other means. These are just a few of the pain points that customers bring to me when they want to talk about API solutions. Traditionally, there were two approaches to take when it came to implementing API interfaces on IBM IIIs. The first, manual development. Let's compare API development to a woodworking project. In that comparison, manual development would be similar to working with hand tools. Traditionally, IBM I shops like to write code. The advantage to writing your own code, of course, is that there are no limitations. You can create anything that you can imagine. This allows for all types of innovative solutions to the problems that your company may have. But much like hand tools, manually writing code is extremely inefficient. Writing all of your code manually is extremely labor intensive. It does not ensure that best practices are followed in that code that's being developed. And that increased development time just leads to more and more backlogs in IBM I shops as they try to learn sometimes new programming languages to write their APIs in or just to learn the ins and outs of API development in general. Another common approach is to use low code development tools. You can think of these like power tools. They are great for getting simple jobs done really fast. They implement best practices um, because you're not actually writing the code that's, that's being implemented. Your testing and your delivery time is greatly reduced because you have less opportunity to introduce bugs. And the low-code system just handles all the mundane things that developers hate doing anyway. The problem with low-code development tools, much like power tools, is that they can sometimes be limited in their capabilities. You can only do what the tool is designed to do. And this can stifle innovation in your shop if you're only doing low-code development. This is one of my favorite quotes by Coach John Wooden. Flexibility is the key to stability. Here at Profound Logic, our goal is to build flexible solutions to prepare your company for the future. That's why when we developed Profound API, we took a flexible approach. What if we could take the advantages of both manual coding and low code solutions and combine them without any of the negatives? What if we could have a flexible low code environment 
that could also allow us to innovate using manual code where we need to. That's exactly what we've done with Profound API. And this is what we call hybrid development. So if you think about a modern woodworking project, you would likely use the power tools to get the basic shape built for whatever it is you're building, and then come back with the hand tools to refine things, to add intricate details, to add things that make the project more beautiful. The same is true in hybrid development. You get the efficiencies of low code. We can have that reduced development time, testing time, delivery time, and best practices can be implemented using the low code tool. The low code tool can do the heavy lifting for us so that we can save our concentration for innovation. So we get that efficiency, but we also still have the flexibility to insert manual code wherever it needs to be, but only where it needs to be. So within the Profound API solution, we can manually code at the entire API level or at just within an individual step within a low code workflow, or we can write some manual code and turn it into a reusable routine that can be used within low code solutions throughout our applications. We're never limited by just what the low code solution provides to us. Having this flexibility allows developers to concentrate on the areas where innovation is needed. They don't have to waste time building loops or setting variables or just moving data from one place to another. Those things can be handled by the low code solution. But maybe their application needs to use an NPM package to give it some kind of special functionality that the low code system doesn't provide. That's where a developer should be investing their time and concentration. So let's have a look at an example of what hybrid development would look like in a real application. Here we have an example application that actually integrates with an external API. Actually, it's a FedEx API. And within this, you can see we have a workflow set up where we're setting variables, calling routines, consuming REST services, all within our low code environment. This can all be done really easily by adding steps and answering questions. However, there were a couple of places within this routine where we needed to do a little bit of data manipulation that could have been done inside the low code system, but it was just a little more efficient to do it using manual code. So you'll notice right here within this routine, if I edit this populate new details object step, that within that, it's actually manual code. So I can have manual code here to handle this bit of data manipulation that needed to happen right in the middle of a low code workflow. So for example, if we were to take a look at our set work variable step here, you can see that's within the low code system. We're just answering questions. The same is true of call internal routine, but populate new details object. And I believe also the build list, yes, is actually done with manual code just because it was more efficient to do so for those individual steps. Now, if I wanted to do this entire API in manual code, I could do that too. In fact, I can convert everything that's here into manual code just by clicking this button here, and it will generate the actual Node.js code for this entire routine. Um, I could start by just hand coding everything if I wanted to, and that's what's so great about Profound API as a solution. We can sprinkle in a little bit of custom Node.js code here and there as needed. We can build things entirely in low code. We can also build things entirely using manual code. The Profound API solution is extremely flexible and never limits you to only what the low code system provides. So you're never limited to what the tool itself can do. You can always step outside the box and insert some manual code for places where you might need to do something a little more creative. Thank you for taking the time to watch today's presentation. I hope you've seen the power and flexibility that hybrid API development can bring to your shop. If you'd like to learn more about Profound API and how we can help, you can visit our website at profoundlogic.com API. If you'd like to see more demonstrations of what the tools can do, you can always go to our YouTube channel at Profound Logic TV. If you'd like to set up some time to talk to me or to one of our solutions architects about how Profound API can help you, just reach out to sales at profoundlogic.com.